I think we've all been in the situation where we need to connect a new phone or PC to our Wi-Fi network, and we forgot the password. Sometimes it's because you're using an ISP provided router that has a complicated default security key and you lost the piece of paper it was on. While other times we just can't remember the custom password we set ourselves. So is there a way to look it up? Let's start with what's probably the easiest way. Using an Android device that's already connected to the same network. Android 10 and newer actually make it quite straightforward. Open up your Wi-Fi settings and tap on the network you're currently connected to or a previous one that's already saved. Then you should see an option that says share. Go ahead and tap that and you'll see a QR code that another device can scan to connect. But you'll also get the password you need in plain text right below it. It's just that easy. But what if you're more of an iPhone household? Well, iOS has lagged behind Android in this department. <laughs> Imagine that. But Apple is finally adding a feature to view saved Wi-Fi passwords to iPhones and iPads in fall of this year when iOS 16 comes out. You'll need to have an iPhone 8 or newer or an iPad with at least an A9 CPU in order to do this though. Open up your Wi-Fi settings and tap the network you want, similar to what you do on Android. Then you'll see a field that says password. So as you'd expect, tap on it, authenticate yourself with either your biometrics or your unlock code, and the Wi-Fi password will pop right up. But what if your mobile device is too old to use these methods or you just, you don't have it on you? We'll tell you what to do in that case, right after we thank our buddy Joel Crane for collaborating with us on this episode. And also Hetzner. Hetzner is a leading hosting provider and data center operator in Europe with hundreds of thousands of servers in operation. They combine their strengths in innovative technology, attractive prices, expert support, and flexible customer service through their high-tech data centers in Germany and Finland. Currently, they're offering all AX dedicated root servers with AMD Ryzen CPUs without a setup fee for a limited time only and available in just minutes. Configure yours now by clicking on the link below. You can also look up a lost Wi-Fi password on a Windows PC that's already connected to the network you want. Fire up the old school control panel and go to Network and Sharing Center. You'll be able to click on the name of the network and from there, select Wireless Properties then the security tab, and finally, check the box that says show characters. If you're logged in with administrator privileges, the password will pop right up. There's also a way to view passwords from previous networks you've connected to, and it's only a tiny bit more complicated. Open up a command prompt or PowerShell window as administrator, and then enter this command. Just replace the X's with the name of the network you want. You'll then see a field called key content. The password will be listed right there. If you've got Mac OS, the process is actually a little simpler. All you have to do is search for a built-in app called Keychain Access. From there, you can search for any saved wireless network you want, then click on the Show Password box, and then it'll spill its secrets for you. But all of these methods require that you have a device previously connected to the network. What if you're like in a, really in a bind and you don't have all of that? Well, assuming it's your own network, you might be able to brute force the password if you've left WPS on. WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup, and it's that feature that allows you to connect your devices by just pushing a button on your router. Unfortunately, WPS is also a huge security risk, which is why we recommend disabling it in the router settings in most circumstances. But if your router happens to have it enabled anyway, which many of them unfortunately do by default, you might be able to take advantage of that weakness to hack the WPS feature by using free software tools that you can find online. If you succeed, you'll probably have your password in a matter of hours, but for the love of God, do not do this on any network that isn't your own. Not only is it extremely not nice, but it's also illegal in many places. And if you get caught, <laughs> yeah, don't say we didn't warn you. Thanks for watching guys, like, uh, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.